I'm Mike Petrich from the Exploratorium. We run a space called the Tinkering Studio on the floor for visitors to come in and make things with hands, tools, and materials. What do you mean by being a tinkerer? I think a tinkerer is an interesting position where you actually approach something that you don't completely understand, whether it's a project or a problem, whether it's a tool or a material that you haven't seen before. And in order, in, in, instead of waiting for somebody to tell you what to do with it, or instead of waiting for someone to give you the right answer, you dive right in and start to investigate it on your own. So it's a, it's a sort of maker culture movement that's going on. That's right. It's about making, and it's about tinkering. It's not really about production as much as it is about inventing and creating something slightly new as you tinker with the material. So how do you Kids to do that. <laughs> I think one of the one of the best ways to excite anybody to do this is to show other people doing it. To see what they're doing with the tools, what they're doing with the materials, and to see the intentionality, the whimsy, the laughter, and the frustration in other people is an instant is an instant way to get people involved in doing this themselves. Can you show me something that somebody's made here? Sure. We've got a couple of things. We've been taking apart We've been taking apart animatronic toys that we've collected and doing two things with them. One of them is that we've been dissecting them so that they still work and then taking parts from other toys and putting them on the toy that they didn't have in the first place. The Toy Story hero is the worst enemy. That's right. It's the worst enemy for sure. The other thing though is we've started taking the innards or the, the, um, the skins, turning them inside out and restuffing them into these new types of stuffed animals that are stuffed inside out. Wow, that's and cool. so, a little bit of sewing, a little bit of electronics, and a little bit of uh, mechanics involved in this activity. Cool. And who takes part in this kind of work? Anybody who's interested. The visitors that come to the museum decide whether they'd like to participate by stepping into the space and starting. They decide how long they'd like to do this. When they're finished, they head home. Cool. Thanks very much. You bet.